So, I have three radius r, 4 over r, and r plus 4 over r. Okay, so what is the area of the circle whose radius is r? Well, you need to multiply it by... So pi r squared. Pi r squared. Yeah, that's the formula. Yeah. What's the, radi what's the area of the circle whose radius is 4 over r? I'm going to challenge you to do that one. What is, what is this area? So it's pi... See. So the radius squared. The radius is 4 over r. So yeah. wouldn't it be 16 over r squared pi? Very good. So the first one, the area is pi r squared. The second one, the area is pi times 16 over r squared. Now this one is probably a challenging one for you to figure out the square root, mm -hmm. but I bet you can I bet you can figure this out. You've had a little bit of algebra. So it's r squared. Uh, pi times pi times r, r squared. squared. Plus four, because you have it's r times four over r, okay. and then you have two of those. All right. Plus sixteen over r squared. Okay. Very good. And so instead of the four plus four, just to simplify, I'll write eight. And what did I need to do next with these areas? Subtract them. Okay. What am I subtracting? So these. So it's this minus this minus this. Okay, what am I left with? What happens when I subtract, when I take this expression and I subtract away this bit? What does this bit correspond to? That. Okay, here, you see that 16 over r squared times pi? Yeah. Okay, now you tell me, what does this bit correspond to? Well, pi r squared. Okay, so this bit goes away. So and what am I left with? 8. eight. But divided by 2 again, uh -huh. then you get 4. 4 pi. 4 pi. I forget about that pi. So I'm left with pi r squared goes away. Yep. Pi times 16 over r squared goes away. So I'm left with 8 pi, and I have to divide by 2. So 4 pi. And I get 4 pi. And what was special about this compared to our first solution? Well, it was the same. Number one, it's the same. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Our first time around, we got 4 pi. How did we get that? Well, by making it the, by making them the two radii are the same. Yeah. But and what was special here? Well, they were different. They didn't have to be the same. Yeah. yeah. But they had a constraint. What was the constraint? That they had to multiply to be 16. Yeah, they had to multiply to be 16. So, so they, that, they could have been 4 and 4. They could have been 4 and 4, but it also could have been what? Like 1 and 16. Or yeah. 2 and 8. Or 2 and 8. Or even... 32 and a half. Even 32 and a half. 64 and a fourth. Yeah. Even more than that. Could have been. 128 and 8. Yeah. 256 and a 16th. <coughs> so give, give, me, give me a, a different one. Well, you can have 16 thirds and 3. Yeah. Do they always have to be rational? No. You could have i and 16 over i. Ah. But I think. Probably not. How actually. do you rash, how do, how, how can you go over i? Yeah. It can't be a complex number. It has to be a real number. So you could have pi and 16 over pi. Right. And one radius could have been pi, and the other radius could have been 16 over pi, for example. Mm. For example. How do you go a distance of i? Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that another time. Anyway, this is really good work. It's a good chance for you to, to be exposed to a little tiny bit of algebra. And it's a good chance for you to sort of see some of the geometric ideas that are hiding in problems like this. Anyway, good project, guys. Good work today.